Yes, Ginger Meow is right. It is time now to ask the expert here to answer your questions live on the air is Dr. Natasha Bouillon. Okay, let's get to it. Selena from Phoenix. My mother is always so stressed during the holidays and it stresses me out. What can I do to help? I feel like Zoe would be saying the same I thing. I hear this <laughs> from a lot of people. Well, the first important thing to remember is that we don't need to take on other people's burdens and we don't need to solve their problems for them. That being said, it's good to just be a listening ear. Validate what your mother is going through. Listen. You don't need to become an advice monster. But one thing I do tell people that's great, it's gratitude journaling. So oh, if you and your mom together can gratitude journal, talk about what you're thankful for, that really does help alleviate stress. Yeah. And so it can be simple. Even when you wake up in the morning and brush your teeth, you can say, I'm grateful for this clean water because a lot of people in the world don't have that. Mm -hmm. So gratitude journaling, sharing and gratitude is a great tip. That is a wonderful thing to do. Thank you. Erica from Glendale says, I get so stressed out because I know I have so much to do, but it cripples me and I don't do anything. How do I stop it? Yes, yeah, this is what happens. This is how procrastination yes. happens. Overwhelming, yes. We get overwhelmed. So I first say make a list. So get organized however you want to get organized. Tackle that list one item at a time. But sometimes all of it can be all encompassing. Yes. And so one thing I've heard from a therapist is to create a worry box. So Ooh. if you make a little worry box, it can be an old shoe box. Write down what you're concerned about, crumple it up, put it in that worry box and just put it away. I think that can help people really just tackle one thing at a time and not yes. get overwhelmed. Oh, I like that. I have not heard that before. That's a good one. Matt from Chandler says, I travel for the holidays and feel like I'm going to lose it every time I fly. What can I do to help myself? Yeah, flying in general is not <laughs> stressful. The holidays. <laughs> so many people have anxiety about it. There are a couple of tips and tricks people can try. So one of them is when you're actually in the airplane, if you're feeling a little bit stressed out about flying, it's called the countdown down from five senses. Oh. So it's this idea that you name five things that you can see and four things that you can hear and three things that you can smell. And so what oh. you're doing is you're activating each of your senses so you're in tune with your body so you're not overwhelmed by what's happening around you. Now that being said, if you have anxiety about flying, you can also see a doctor because there are medications people can take for flying anxiety. Yes, oh, that's good. Okay, Ashley from Phoenix says, I love to plan and host parties and have people over, but then as we get closer to the date, my anxiety and stress level gets higher and sometimes I wonder, why did I do this? What should I do? I, I can so relate. I've been in that boat where I'm like, why did I sign up to host? It's like one of the biggest right. burdens you can take on. Here's what I tell people is make sure that your guests share in this with you. So ask your guests to help you out. Ask them to bring food. Hot ask luck. them to come early, yes. help you decorate. I mean, really, when it comes right down to it, you also should alleviate the burden from yourself. When you host, people just want to see you. They want to get together. They want to indulge with friends. Things do not have to be perfect. The decor, the food, none of that has to be perfect. It's the people that matter. And yes. so just give yourself that forgiveness. I would say your presence is your present. Exactly. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, Paul from Glendale. For many, the holidays is a time to indulge in some alcoholic drinks. What should we do if one indulges a bit too much the night before? What is the best way to deal with a hangover? Oh, I do see one. people drinking more during the holidays and then it ends up leading to dry January. Yes. Now, there are a lot of cures for hangovers. Yes. A lot of them don't actually work. So the things that are proven by evidence, staying hydrated does make a difference. Okay. Having electrolyte-based drinks makes a difference. The other thing is the reason people get hangovers it's because alcohol is breaking down in our body. That's what's causing a hangover. Mm -hmm. And so really to detoxify ourselves, there's something called glutathione. Mm -hmm. It's an antioxidant. That is the best cure for a hangover. You can find that in things like smoothies. So if you oh. have a strawberry banana fruit smoothie, getting those antioxidants, eating things like eggs, that does help cure a hangover a lot more than a lot of those old wives tales. Right, and Advil or Tylenol, sure, whatever. That, that'll help yeah. the symptoms. It won't cure the hangover any sooner, yeah. but it'll at least help the symptoms. Right, okay. Oh, excellent. Excellent advice as always. Dr. Natasha, thank you so much.